If you're looking for a group that's been assembled from a collection of different parts, try Grand Valley's defensive line. There's a player from Florida who's closer to the age of 30 than 20, another who's won games at Lubbers Stadium both with and against the Lakers, and a married father who babysits mornings while his wife teaches school. And then there's the guy from Stockholm, Sweden, excelling at a sport his countrymen barely play after a modest start of his own at a junior college in California. When I started off playing, there were probably like 50 people in the stands, maybe on a good day, maybe 70, you know, and then come out, coming out here is you know, almost over 10,000 people coming out and watching us, and it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. And... In Sweden, where hockey is all the rage during the cold months and soccer when it's warm, Mark Rosenquist was born with a body that's not really perfect for either. Today, he stands six feet four inches tall and is a solid 300 pounds. So one day, while traveling with his father, an idea was launched when the pair came across kids on a field. Uh, me and my dad, we drove past the football field back in Sweden. You know, we saw some people running around tackling a dummy. And I figured, you know, since my dad had played uh, a couple of years earlier, you know, I figured, why not try it out too? You know, I'm a big dude, so tried it out and fell for it. Mark's fascination with football quickly turned into a quest to get him to America. His size landed him on a Swedish national team, and from there, a trip to Butte Community College in California, the former football address of Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers. It was at that point he was discovered, accidentally, by Matt Mitchell. We were recruiting a junior college player uh, from Butte College at another position. We were watching tape, he kind of kept showing up, and uh, we kind of saw him inside and was active, and so uh, we, we ended up calling the coach, and uh, he kind of filled us in on the backstory of what was going on in his recruiting. He had some other Division II schools kind of looking at him, um, but uh, his recruiting wasn't too hot and heavy, so we flew him out. Uh, on a visit and uh, got to know him as a person and got to know him as an athlete. And uh, I, I tell you that the hardest positions to find in football are, are quality quarterbacks and interior defensive linemen. They're just very, very difficult to find. And so Americans are known for being really big, you know, so I came, over, came from Sweden. I knew there was going to be some big people and I always competed against people that are older than me back in Sweden. So it wasn't, it wasn't a, as big of a surprise that, that you could think, you know. Quarterback trying to roll. Facing some heat, that ball's slapped oh. into his face, and it's big Mark Rosenquist, who's got his first career interception. Rosenquist toiled quietly for Mitchell's squad last year, but got his close-up earlier this season with his first interception in a game against Truman State. Though it was a fine play, his American teammates let him know about his failure to make it all the way to the end zone. Uh, I mean, he did have a wall of three defensive linemen in front of him, uh, trying to lead him to the end zone, but uh, uh, What's important is uh, we ended up with the ball at the end of the play, so <laughs> it's a good job by him. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of critics you know, on the D-line. Uh, kind of got a couple comments about me not scoring and then falling down. So if I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll do it definitely. I'll, and I'll score. I'll score. And while the good-natured Rosenquist takes all the jokes in stride, Grand Valley's opponents aren't laughing anymore. On a team loaded with pass rushers, Rosenquist anchors the defensive line and has become a formidable run stopper, so much so that he's now getting noticed by curious new onlookers, scouts from the National Football League. As we've had the NFL scouts come through, um, I've, I've been really proactive trying to um, you know, be a proponent of Mark because of his lack of football. I think he's a diamond in the rough, and all these guys at the higher levels, it's hard to find a bigger-bodied athletic kid that has his work ethic. And so a lot more people are spot-checking back coming in on the 2016 tape, and he's intriguing. A lot of times when you start dipping down uh, from the NFL to D2 ranks, you have to find these unique stories and you know a little bit of a risk maybe as a free agent or something like that. I, I really think that you know if he got into a camp he wouldn't be that much out of place just because of his work ethic and his, his ability. I always try to get to the next level so uh, you know it's, it's, it's a hard business but you know I, I want to get as far as I can with football and then hopefully I want to stay in the United States. Last year Grand Valley looked at Mark Rosenquist as a guy who could take up space while lining up alongside All-America teammate Matt Judon. These days Mark is inching closer to becoming a player whose global travels might land him a spot on an NFL roster and maybe on the sidelines for an NFL contest someday 
at London's Wembley Stadium, which will be the closest thing to a real home football game he's ever seen.